Cosmic Clarity now sports color natively. Welcome to SETI Astro. So to get the latest release, be sure to head over to my website, SETIastro.com, under Astro Programs, Cosmic Clarity. It's now updated with both the Dark Star and the Denoise color versions. You're going to want to get the initial download, just because there's a lot of a, a lot of different files. It'd be it'd be more confusing to most people trying to update them individually via the GitHub. It's just going to be a lot easier to go ahead and just re-download the whole parent folder from the Google Drive. And you can see in the Google Drive, just be sure to grab the version that matches your operating system. Okay, so what changed? When I initially started doing this, I wanted to have a ground up mono set of neural net tools for mono processing. It seemed like a lot of the other tools out there were, were geared towards uh, one shot color, which there's no nothing wrong with that. It's just, I, I, I wanted some good tools directly for mono imaging. I kind of bootstrapped that to still work with one shot color data by just having to do three passes, right? I'd run the mono model on each red, green, and blue channel separately. And it led to essentially three times longer processing, especially for denoise and now dark star star removal. So not only is it going to speed up the processing for a huge number of individuals out there by, by 3x, there's a lot of correlations between the color channels that the neural net can learn and leverage instead of running them via a mono model, one for each channel. So after you've downloaded Cosmic Clarity, it fully functions just like it, it did before. You'd either run it from SETI Astro Suite, Pix Insight, or in Serial. I have here an image from a, a viewer of the channel, NGC 6992. And we can go ahead and run Dark Star on it, uh, and just as a just as a demonstration, I'm going to choose Cosmic Clarity Dark Star and click OK. Now you can see it has two different models in here: one for the mono, one for the color. And because it has the color model in there, it's only going to have to make the one pass and be done. Now we have our starless image, and then our stars only image here, which is still linear. So if you want to you know, stretch your stars only image, you're still gonna have to do something like um, star stretch. And here we are in Pix Insight with a much more challenging image here. This is a uh, Polaris with some surrounding integrated flux nebula. And again, I could just go to SETI Astro Dark Star and click OK. And again, it's only gonna have to make the one pass now because this was a color image and it's gonna use the colored neural net. And here is our starless image. You can really see the integrated flux now. There's some difficult spots by some of these bright stars still. Uh, I'm not claiming it's 100% uh, perfect, right? I'm, I'm always in the state of developing these kind of items, but it is still better than the previous version too, and it's three times faster. And now similarly for Cosmic Clarity Denoise, uh, if it's a color image, it's going to be able to use the color neural net when you're on the full mode. If you're on luminance or you have a mono image, it's going to know that and be able to use the mono neural net. So I'm just going to click execute. Now you're going to see it only runs through once, which is really great on really large images. So it doesn't have to run through three different times, one for each channel. And with any denoising in an auto stretch, the best way to actually see what's going to or what's going on is to do a normal linear to nonlinear stretch, like my uh, statistical stretch. So this was the image before Cosmic Clarity Denoise. You're done with a statistical stretch of 0.25, and then all I did was run Denoise and do the same statistical stretch 0.25, and this is what it's able to get out of it now that I could stretch it more fully uh, when the noise floor is much, much lower. Again, before, after just with the an initial linear to nonlinear stretch one other note as with all things some models may perform better than others so in SETI Astro Suite there is a checkbox if you do want to process the RGB channel separately just like it did before where it's going to use the mono model on each channel R then G then B 
Uh, you can do that if you have less than stellar uh, denoising with the, the color one. Also that option is available if you just run Cosmic Clarity denoise natively as, as a standalone application. You can see the checkboxes right here if you do run it as a standalone, if you do want to process the channel separately with the mono neural net. So this was just a quick update to let everybody know about the Cosmic Clarity update. So please be sure to get it. Remember there's also a mirror site if there's a, the download quota was exceeded on the, on the primary Google Drive to download it. Please comment, like, and subscribe.